I understand that the term slay queen is generally frowned upon and is considered offensive and derogatory. I just want to state that I never use this term. You can go through all my tweets and you'll find that I've never even once tweeted it. I'll only use it for the duration of this video for the purpose of describing the kind of girls considered slay queens. Otherwise, no. No. I'm never using it. The only time I'd ever slay queen is if I slaughtered the king's wife. <laughs> Get it? Slay queen, slaughter the king's ah. Just roll my intro. Hello, my name is Crazy, and welcome back to my channel. Let me just admit that the thumbnail of this video was mad clickbaity. I used one of my ex fights pictures in the thumbnail, and the title of the video is Dating a Slay Queen. That possibly could have made you think I'm in a relationship and I'm gonna talk about me and her. No, I'm not in a relationship. And as I've said, that's an ex fling. I got her permission to use the picture, okay? But I've been with enough slay queens to talk about how it is to date them, and I I just want us to bust some of the myths people have about slay queens. Now, what is a slay queen? According to Urban Dictionary, slay queens are girls who do not have a wealthy background, but it appears as if they do. They use malicious acts to obtain cash, drink expensive alcohol, procure expensive cell phones, but back at home, she's a chicken chaser. I like how they say they sound obnoxious when they talk, like, like that, that rolling accent. They be like, I just don't get it. You better have my money. Yes, Chomi, I met him last night and he was so firm. <laughs> That's pretty much the definition of a slay queen, but I want to add to it by how they look physically because that also plays a bit of a role. Like the nails are always done. Always some fancy Brazilian, Peruvian, I don't know, hair. They're typically light skin, but you do get dark skin slay queens. And their makeup is always on fleek. I could add more to how they physically look, but that would start excluding other slay queens. Like I could say they're all thick and curvy, but nah, some of them are not. Some of them are just thin and slender. Some are even fat. Crazy, you can't say fat. That ain't politically correct. Some are even big boned. So yeah, let's just leave it at those four points of how they look. Now we've defined what a slay queen is in general, right? Let's get to the good stuff. Dating a slay queen. Yo, yo. Yeah, it, 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 it's good and bad. I want to keep this video short, so I'm only going to give the main reason why it's bad to me, in my opinion. And then I'll give reasons why it's good. It's bad because they're high maintenance. I don't know who or what in the world gave Slay Queens the idea that their boyfriends have to take care of them financially. A boyfriend, a ATM, Google. Also, Andrew, I'm going to say that. Baby, and it's like that with their hair, nails, sometimes clothes, rent money. It's always baby I'll funu tingle like this or I'll funu won patare like that. Love listen. I can hardly afford anything that I want, so please, you obviously can't say that to them because you gonna dump your broke ass. But that's the main con, the main disadvantage about dating a slay queen. There's other smaller scale stuff like your insecurity because this person is fine AF and other niggas be sliding. Niggas with more money, niggas with a better car, niggas with a nicer flat, niggas with expensive clothes. They want her. So that's also kind of a disadvantage to dating a slay queen if you're really, really insecure. Don't be like that. Now the good things about dating a slay queen. Firstly, she's beautiful. Who doesn't want to have a beautiful girlfriend and be seen walking together in the mall holding hands? Secondly, and this is very important to me. Most of them, I don't want to say all of them because I haven't been with all of them. Most of them are clean. They spend way too much time on their appearance to not be clean anyway. Hygiene is very important to me. You know, I, 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 I want to be greeted by a pleasant scent when I start taking your clothes off and I start kissing your neck and I start going down. I want to be able to sing to it while I go down like... I'd rather be with you too. Yeah. I can't be going down with a face like
Thirdly, she's good content for your Instagram and we all know that that's important nowadays, right? And lastly, other hands are gonna wanna be with you because they think if you can attract and keep a girl like that, then there must be something special about you and then they're gonna want you. Now, the myth or the stereotype that slay queens aren't intelligent is absolutely false. I have friends who are slay queens studying towards degrees and I have stimulating conversations with them all the time. I mean, how would that be if they weren't intelligent? The myth that they like GTI niggas, not true. They like Mercedes and BMW niggas more. I am on. That one is true. You have to have a car. Otherwise, uzo and you have to be okay with that. Now, the last myth is that slay queens have blessers. I mean, as soon as you mention the term... Imagine. As soon as you mention... Whoa, I'm starting to sound like a slay queen. As soon as you mention the term slay queen, people think, oh, blesser. She has to have an older man who's rich and who can afford to buy her this hair and the expensive bags and the clothes. I don't know if that one is true or not. I'll let you decide and have a discussion in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.